This animation style has such a rich artistic history, but we've done our best to narrow it down. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 stop motion television shows. You know the League as fearless crime fighting heroes, but you may not know that several of their stories are ripped off, uh, I mean, inspired by some of the biggest movies of all time. From kids' series to animated adult shows, we'll be choosing our picks based on both quality and the legacy of each show. Number 10, The PJs. Oh no, my mom said not to stare at him. Eddie Murphy's turn-of-the-century stop-motion sitcom depicted life in a public housing project in Chicago. Now, you're a real super. Look around you, son. One day this will all be yours. The show, which only lasted for 44 episodes, starred Murphy as Thurgood Stubbs, the super of the projects in which he and his family live. Now, it's very clear that we won't have to protect ourselves. And I was thinking we should form one of those groups where neighbors watch out for each other. What's that they call them things anyway, Mira? Neighborhood Watch? No, that ain't it. The show was a refreshing twist on what was expected out of a stop-motion series and came to a close after three seasons. And reportedly due to failing ratings, overinflated budget, and declining interest from its co-creator and star. Before it's too late, I want you to know I love you, Muriel. I'm sorry I wasn't a hero. Thurgood, you are a hero. You were a hero the minute you decided to stand up and protect this community. Murphy's series will be remembered for its fresh take on the style and for its down-to-earth sensibilities. Number 9. The Wind in the Willows Based on the classic children's novel and following the success of the stop-motion animated film, this series continues the story of Mole, Ratty, Badger, and Toad as they deal with mysterious travelers, the threat of the weasels, and more. I had the brilliant idea of disguising myself as a washerwoman and simply strolled out of the jail. The show was so well-written and animated that it remains fondly remembered by those who grew up watching it in the 80s. Ready? Set. <laughs> Go. <laughs> After the show's end, it's received several follow-ups for fans in the form of an hour-long special and a revival of episodes that aired in 1990. Plus, we'll always have the originals to go back on. Number 8. Paddington. No, not the recently released movies, though those are excellent as well. Good afternoon, he said. Can I help you? Well, no, said Mr. Brown. We were wondering if we could help you. This classic stop-motion series based on the popular books lasted for several years in the 1970s and won over countless fans with its charming stop-motion cut-out animation style and lovable characters. Don't worry, Mrs. Brown called Paddington. I'll clear up the mess. Bears are good at clearing up messes. Adapted from the series of children's books bearing the same name, Paddington showcases the adventures of a young bear who comes to live with and be raised by a husband and wife in the city. Help! Help! Paddington, said Judy. You've still got your duffel coat on. I didn't want to get too wet, gasped Paddington. Paddington is just the right amount of wholesome whimsy mixed with artistry, landing him a coveted spot on our list. Number 7. Celebrity Deathmatch Wait a minute! This don't look like no comic relief! Across several stints on MTV, Celebrity Deathmatch has used stop-motion claymation to depict violent, gory battles between celebrities inside the old squared circle. Well, let's see what you say when I bring on the pain! Ah! From the likes of Tim Allen vs. Jerry Seinfeld to Alfred Hitchcock vs. Steven Spielberg, Celebrity Deathmatch delivered some serious laughs, alongside glorious cartoon violence. Oh, here it comes. Another shining example of a Seacrest comeback. The show became popularly associated with MTV in the late 90s and early 2000s, but was eventually cancelled. Let's get it on! Uh... Get it on? <laughs> I'm not gonna get it on with you, dude. A proposed reboot almost happened in 2015, but MTV reportedly made the decision not to move forward. The show's premise might not function as well in today's society, so that decision may be for the best, despite our fond memories. Number 6. 
bump in the night. Bump with the doll, bump with the bug. Bump on the ceiling, bump on the rug. Kids who grew up in the mid 90s remember Bump in the Night as an underrated stop motion classic about monsters living in a family's house. Run, hide! It's a snot gargling drool drinking music from Alpha Centauri! For two seasons and a Christmas special, Bump in the Night managed to balance kids' humor with some more creepy and slightly disturbing elements in a way that made the show memorable even today. Why do we cut the wall? So why don't I could I I don't know what you just said. But if you make another move toward me, I'll deck you again! With excellent voice acting and a large number of musical moments, Bump in the Night was able to distinguish itself from many other Saturday morning cartoons of the time, but never quite found the same level of success. Okay, Squishington, prep the patient for the instruction manualectomy. <laughs> Number 5. Pingu for 20 years, Pingu featured the everyday adventures of a young penguin and his family in a children's comedy format that managed to cross boundaries due to its lack of a language barrier. Pingu and his family spoke their own language, so the show always used physical humor to get its giggles. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring an adorable cast of supporting characters, Pingu is still beloved around the world, so much so that a reboot was recently started in Japan. With its creative use of stop motion, the creative forces behind Pingu have proved that the little penguin is here to stay. <laughs> Number 4. Creature Comforts Originating as a series of short films, Nick Park's award-winning Creature Comforts depicts animated everyday conversations between people made to look like it's between animals, using a mockumentary format. From, I think, just on a personal level, yeah, I do prefer pro provide a, a valuable service to them, definitely. I mean, it's not necessarily painful, but sometimes it can be a bit uncomfortable. With his patent British humour and natural knack for claymation, Park and his collaborators struck gold with this series, which lasted two seasons and a shorter-lived American version. There was even a series of TV ads made using the series format. I'm an excellent swimmer, and I've got loads of badges, and I've won a few competitions. Despite using conversations between elderly people, they're never the butt of the joke, and the humour always comes from the animation. I have to say, I don't really like the um, idea of what's below. <laughs> I find it a bit kind of like... Ooh. Park has shown time and time again his ability to create incredible stop-motion entertainment. Number 3. The Gumby Show You can't go wrong with the classics. <laughs> Starting all the way back in the 1950s, Gumby has been a staple of American pop culture due to his claymation TV show. Created along with the rise of claymation's popularity, Gumby has been an enduring figure ever since, starring in several TV shows after his first and his own movie. Gumby! Gumby! Yes, Mother? Have you made your bed and picked up your things? <laughs> They're all done, Mother! Many of the plots in Gumby's early adventures are basic but endearing, but it's the visual aspects of the show that really shine. One thing, if you come in here, you have to do everything backwards, even talking. You understand? Yes! Where is it? Uh, uh? Um, uh, it is where? Creator Art Clokey was inspired by experimental film and tried new things in animation. For that, Gumby will be forever remembered. Number 2. Shaun the Sheep Another creation of stop-motion mastermind Nick Park, Shaun the Sheep is a spin-off of the excellent short film series Wallace and Gromit. Sean the Sheep follows Sean as he leads his flock and gets into misadventures on the farm. Like Park's other work, this simple premise hides the true genius of the show, which is its pitch-perfect blend of wit and visual humor that appeals to kids and adults alike. <laughs> Though the series came to an end a few years ago, we wouldn't be surprised to see Sean pop up again somewhere down the line. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. This stupid can! It sprayed me right in the eyes. I hate it. Oral, you shouldn't hate it. Why not, Mom? Because God is in there. He is? Yes. God is everywhere. He was quite good at it. Whoops. Pat was enjoying the hopscotch so much he almost forgot the time. 
Hey, I'll have to be going. We can't have the post being late, can we? Hey, great view. I can see the yard from here, Lofty. What about Scoop and Travis? Oh, right. Um, and we're off to a flying start now with Scoop in the lead. Not quite at the end yet. Almost there, though. Just be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. All right, back to business. Number one, Robot Chicken. The brainchild of writer-comedian Seth Green and writer-director Matthew Senreich, Robot Chicken is an Adult Swim sketch comedy series that lampoons pop culture with a particular emphasis on nerd culture. Hey, you're not Michael. Uh, you can talk? If he can talk, I bet he can party! Yeah! <laughs> The long-running series has been consistently churning out episode after episode for 13 years and counting, including several holiday, Star Wars, and DC Comics specials. Your mother is so stupid, she, she thinks a lightsaber has fewer calories. <laughs> The show has produced so many memorably hilarious sketches and recurring characters over the years. And in other news tonight, Voltron got totally served. Damn! We're happy the show's still running strong after so many years on air, and we're hoping the team is able to deliver many more. No way! Did you see that? Right up the flame! Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.